Well, I was asked by a gallery in Los Angeles to revisit an idea for a sculpture I did a long time ago, but this time do it a little different. And uh, I just got to find the right screw. Uh, that's not going to work either. Anyway, they want me to do a, a warrior on horseback that is uh, after the Battle of the Little Bighorn, he's captured Custer's battle flag. And, and he's holding it up in, victor in victory on a rearing horse. And uh, I'm going to do a sketch for it because it's going to have to be bigger than what I've got right now. But Time to play with some clay. I'm thinking about using one of the horses or that I had for the uh, three horse piece I had been working on. And uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing right now. But it'll be rearing up and I've got to uh, arrange it so that uh, the horse looks like it's rearing up. I didn't design this horse for that, but I can certainly change it around if I want to. Um, just got to figure out how I'm going to do that. So anyway, I'm going to work on that for right now. And I've got to get uh, a drill bit big enough for the uh, feet to go into. Or at least figure out something for that too. So, All right, I've got uh, the horse placed where I want it. And I just got to mark where the uh, legs come down to the uh, base and about where I want the support. So get those holes drilled. There we go. it yeah I got to reposition his legs a little bit and Okay, that's all done. <clears throat> Fortunately, I had a figure already made. For the other horses. I'm going to have to reposition him a little bit. But you get the idea of what I'm going for right now. I hope you get it all on camera. Yeah, I do. 
anyway, uh, I've got some work to do. Uh, i got to redo the uh, front legs uh, because I've got to, uh, let's, see, let's do that now. Bending at the knees of the horse. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to position the flag. Um, I'll show you a picture of the flag I'm going to be having on this. Um, I can't, I guess I could have it up. Just got to figure out how I'm going to have it. Because it's got to be visually good all the way around, and that's the uh, key. And if I have a long piece of uh, bronze staff up here, it's bound to be bent at some point in time. And I'm trying to keep it from being bent uh, by positioning it in a proper way. But uh, positioning, positioning him properly, too. Well, that's as far as I'm going to get today. I've got to go up and I'm getting a full order of my uh, videos out. Um, and I'm rendering my uh, new video on creating a bust of a female and a male. Uh, the pioneer couple that uh, is called uh, the widow and the widower. It's taken about 10 hours to render it and I've just got to go up and check on it and make sure that everything's coming out okay that uh anyway that's uh it for today and uh pick this up next time good night everybody maybe that's what i need is have them up a little higher Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. 
Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.